Let's talk about the head of another agency. Some say that the head of Health and Human Services, the secretary, ought to be able to negotiate drug prices like the head of the VA does. What would be wrong with that? I think the HHS director's got a lot on their plate. And one more responsibility like that may be uh, sound good on paper, but it, in my mind, uh, this is probably left best to those that are in the position to really negotiate effectively. And who would that for, be? Well, I think that you're seeing drug plans and otherwise, uh, you, you know, doing a doing a pretty good job. They understand PBMs, the market. Well, PBMs are included in there. They certainly understand the market. Uh, the, the best of anybody. They can they can work on volume. They can work on other kinds of incentives. And I'm working to try to change that uh, to enable a, a lot more collaboration and to clear the prohibitions from the anti-kickback statutes, the Stark laws, and things of that nature. Um, we also have you, you know seen something where the VA does negotiate prices, but what I talk to some of the VA folks, you get lower prices in some spaces, but you also get reduced availability. And as we're working towards more specialized medicine and we're looking at the next level of breakthrough drugs, I mean, I think is is 50 percent of the of the new drug development is going to be in specialty <coughs> drugs. And we oftentimes talk about this as one great big system, not recognizing great progress has been made with generics and other kinds of competition. One point seven trillion dollars saved from was estimated by virtue of introducing generics into the markets. Part D has turned out to be better. But we're also looking at most of the innovation now taking place, 30% for cancer. Great that we're moving into this. We're looking into things like gene therapy and other brand new ways to attack illness that are really, really exciting, some of it expensive. Um, so, you know, we don't want to not make that available uh, to, to those who, who could benefit from it. And, and, and I, so I think that uh, sometimes that sounds good on paper. I'm not so sure with all the HHS has on its plate, that that's the best use of their time.